Hey, and welcome to the Camel.co vlog. Is it vlog or vlog, Jama? Vlog. Vlog? Yeah. Well, say good day, Jama. Hey! Steven Spielberg. Okay. We got it all right? Yeah. We're ready to go? Yep. Done. So it's okay. Vlog. We're ready to go. Yeah. And what we're going to talk about t today, did I say from the Camel.co and everything? I said all that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. And today we have no sponsors because I didn't cut my face, didn't cut my head. And it's all really good. We came here by car. We didn't ride. Okay. So we'll thank you and I. Anyway, what do we want to talk about today? Last week, we talked about call to action. I got told I got to stand over here a bit more because in a second, j is going to put something up there. Last week, we talked about the most important part of a website is call to action. And we gave all these different examples on uh, how you've got to get call to action in there because it's all about booking and buying. What I want to talk about today is Website design. Now, everyone should know I'm not a designer. All right, it's it's highly private. I don't even know how to build a Duda website, but I do know how to sell it. All right, I leave it to the experts in JMAR's team because they're the guys that are really, really brilliant. But what I want to talk about is that the importance of how you design a website, because I know that we've got a lot of people out there that are designers that have turned into salespeople, uh, designers that have become business owners. And we've got a lot of customers that are looking at building new websites and their, their number one thing is, well, what do I make this website look like? Well, let me give you the first bit of advice. The first bit of advice is do not design it for you. Don't design it for the designer. Design it for those that are going to be looking at it. That is the customers themselves. They're the ones that we should be designing it for. The second thing about it is, it's not an art gallery, okay? What do I mean by that? What's an art gallery? That's where you walk in and people pay money, or they don't, and there's pictures hanging up on the wall, and people sit back and look in a brochure and go, oh my God, that's so wonderful. Look at the colors, look at the style, <gasps> the brush strokes. Can you believe what they did with that pencil? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then they go, thank you, and they walk to the next one. That's an art gallery. People don't buy paintings, they just look at them and wonder in all their glory, okay? That's not what a website is all about. What is a website? A website, as we said before, is for people to book or buy. It's a customer attraction program. The whole design of a website should be about one thing, and that is to attract people to book and buy. Yes, it should be good looking, but don't focus on it being an art gallery, right? What is it? It's a customer attraction machine. It's a marketing machine. It's an order creation machine or an order taking machine, right? It's an information provider for something that will help people book or buy. It's not Wikipedia, okay? It's not there for entertainment. It's not there to be gazed upon with absolute brilliance of its megapixels and use of tremendous colors and everything else. It's there for one reason, and that is to book or buy. Now, why are we so entrenched in this book and buy? What has happened is, over the years, People have uh, got used to a thing called social media, which is Facebook, Twitter, right? uh, Instagram. And what has that done to the mentality of people looking for websites? They have zero patience. They want to get to what they want to see, the information they need, and that's all they care about. They don't care about anything else. Right? The only entertainment you can put on your website is a video that's talking about something that they can book or buy. So, what's important? The home page is the most important page on the entire website. If you don't grab them in that first few seconds, the website is failing. You ever heard of the elevator pitch where you've got 15 seconds to demonstrate how great your company is to someone that's in an elevator? Your home page is the elevator pitch of your company. So forget about pretty pictures and a single thing that says, hey, welcome, right? It's got nothing to do with that. Is tell them what you want to sell them. That's what it's all about. Now, for those people out there saying, oh, I don't sell anything. Well, I hate to tell you this. Even if you are a, um, an NGO, right? If you're a company that, uh, uh, you know, you're a local government, a council, whatever, 
you have customers. They're not going to your website to see how many trees you planted last week. They're going to your website because they want to know what things that you have in your community to offer. All right? They're going to your website for only one reason, and that is they want to book or buy. All right? So the most important page is the home page. The rest, they're going to click to to get information they want about booking and buying. But that home page is, this is why we're here. We know why you're here. This is what we do. This is what you want. And this is how you get it. And if you want to add in a few more things, this is why it's fantastic. It's not your Facebook page. Facebook we're going to talk about next week. That's a little bit different. A website is a marketing machine, a customer attraction program. It's also a data gathering machine. What's the greatest asset you can have about your customers? Data. Why? It gives you an opportunity to contact them and sell something else. So all those PDFs you got, all those blogs you got, don't just put them in there for free. You want to have access. What you should be able to do is give them a brief glimpse of what's available in that blog. Give them a brief glimpse of what's available in that PDF and then say, hey, you want to know more? Click here. Grab some information, email address, telephone number, whatever. It's a data gathering machine because you need that information so you can continually market to those people again. Instead of going out every single week and finding brand new customers, you've got so many coming to your website every week. The camel uses two things to sell, its website and its Facebook page. And we do very nicely, thank you very much. So, websites, start thinking in your head. They're customer attraction programs, they're marketing machines, they're data gathering machines. They are not art galleries. The most important page on your website is the home page. Tell them what you want to tell them. Show them what you want to sell them. Give them the information that they need to make a book or buying decision. So when you're doing your brief, when you're doing a review of what that website is going to look like, ask yourself, put yourself in the customer's position. Will this make them book or buy? Is everything that's available on there for information? Give me back information. Do I collect data on potential customers? Am I geared to sell to them? Am I geared to demonstrate to them? Do I get to the point straight away on that home page? Page. Page. All right. Last but not least, all right? One of the things that really drives me insane. 87% or so of people use their mobile phone. Okay, this wonderful thing here, thank you very much. This wonderful thing here is what people do. Do you know I operate my entire day on my iPad and my phone? That's all I use to do business, right? All my searching is done on that. But why the heck is every single designer you're talking to designing sites on a 26 inch plus screen and the major focus of everyone that wants to complain of something is always on the desktop. The mobile is still an afterthought in our design. But really, we've got to back the front. We should be designing from mobile to desktop because this is what your customers are looking at. So when you're looking at your website, the second most important thing to look at is what does it look like on mobile? Not just a scaled down version of the desktop site, have you designed it specifically for mobile? And the beauty of the Duda platform, you can design it specifically for mobile, specifically for iPads and uh, Androids, and specifically for desktop. You can have three different website designs. And that is what I love most about the Duda platform. So that's going to do us today. I'm going to send you love and hugs. And remember, the Camel.co, a major fulfillment partner for Duda, we're there to help you make more money. We build the sites, we do all the, the running around for you, and you go out and you sell more. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. See ya.